so today we will discuss another example of dynamic programming that is the maximum contiguous sub array sum problem what this means is we are given an array let's say this is the given array and these are the indices 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we want to find out the maximum contiguous sub array sum so what we do is we take sum of all the contiguous arrays like 2 to 4 this is a contiguous sub array contiguous means all the continuous elements so there are no breaks in between 2 3 4 not like 2 and 4 so 2 3 4 the sum is 5 minus 16 minus 30 plus 35 so this may be a <coughs> sum s then another contiguous array may be 3 4 5 6 another may be 0 1 2 3 4 another may be 1 2 3 4 5 another may be 2 3 4 5 6 7 so these are some examples of the contiguous arrays which are continuous and what is sum that i also have explained some of the elements in that array in that sub array and it should be maximum so we want to find out the sub array for which this sum becomes maximum so what we are going to output is we are going to output a sub array so there must be an ending index of that sub array so this is absolutely true statement what it means is we are going to give an output give as output at sub array for example 2 3 4 5 6 or maybe 3 4 5 or maybe 1 2 3 4 6 5 6 so there must be an ending point of that array let's say if we consider the output as 1 2 3 4 5 6 then this is the ending point so ending point must be there how we are so how we will be utilizing this fact that the ending point must be there so we will consider each point as its ending point as the answers ending point so let's say 2 is the ending point of that sub array so <clears throat> 2 might be preceded by 1 or 2 is the sole element in that sub array means the second and the sub array contains only this element or it might contain the sub array till this point plus this element <coughs> so these two cases are there so max ending here that means maximum ending here is equal to 0 because till here maximum is 0 and then we add minus 1 so the if we assume that the output sub array ends here then its maximum sum is minus 1 so that's quite simple and max so far is 0 so max so far means our answer our answer is 0 because if we don't take any element then the sub array is of size 0 and its sum is 0 so minus 1 there is no point in taking minus 1 because if we don't consider any number then the sum is 0 which is greater than minus 1 so there is no point in considering this element alone so now we consider come at index 1 so let's consider if our output is ending here then max ending here at just previous index so we consider the sub array which was ending here the maximum sub some sub array it is minus one no it is zero because we don't consider it because if it is negative we don't consider it so zero plus a1 
we add this element also 2 so it becomes 2 so max so far is 0 greater between 0 and 2 so it is 2 max so far gets updated to 2 now we come at index 2 so max ending here is equal to max ending here till the previous index that is max ending till max ending sub array till here which is sum is 2 and now we include one more element that is a2 into it so we get the sum as 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 so max ending sub array at this point is having sum as 7 so max so far gets updated to 7 because 2 and 7 7 is greater so now we come at index 3 max ending here is equal to max ending here at index 2 that is at this index plus a3 that is minus 16 so it becomes minus 9 which is less than 0 so max ending here is equal to 0 because if max ending here becomes less than 0 then we consider max ending here as not including any element of the array so max ending here at this point does not include any of the element it is a null set so hence its sum is 0 hence max ending there is equal to 0 and max so far is greater out of 0 and 7 which is 7 so this is updated so now let's go to the next page so here is our next page so now we come at index 4 so let's put it side by side we come at this index so max ending till here was 0 so max ending here will be till here plus we add this element also 35 so the max ending till here is equal to 35 so out of 35 and max so far which is 7 35 is greater so max so far gets updated to 35 now we come at index 5 that is we come here so max ending till here was 35 we add 4 to it we get 39 so max so far becomes 39 gets updated to 39 we come at index 6 now so this is our index now we see 6 here so the array ending here we add one more element to it and get the sum as 41 sorry 45 39 plus 6 into 45 and so the maximum so far gets updated to 39 and 45's maximum that is 45 we come at index 7 that is we come here till here the sub array's maximum sum was 41 45 we try to include one more element that is minus 24 to that sub array and increase the size of sub array by 1 hence to get the sum as 21 but out of these two the greater one is 45 so that what what does that imply that implies that including such an element that is including minus 24 is not at all beneficial for us right now and 45 is greater among these two so the max so far is 45 which is the answer so finally whatever max so far is there that is the answer that is the maximum contiguous sub array sum so i tried to explain it quite well but it might not be enough so let me summarize the main concept here the main concept here is that if my just previous is not benefiting me max ending here is equal to negative then no need to extend it i start a new sub array afresh that is for example let us consider this case 35 so if i consider any of these previous elements the sum can be minus 1 2 5 16 35 that is bad 
because minus 1, 2, 5, 5, minus 16, 2, 5, minus 16, this is also bad, negative, 5, minus 16, this is also negative, minus 1, 2, 5, minus 16, this is also negative. So, there is no benefiting benefit in considering them with 35. 35, we should start a new array afresh from 35. So, that is the main basis of this algorithm. So, this is algorithm is popularly known as Kedan's algorithm. Thank you, friends.